Hey folks, um, John Clark here. Um, I'm going to go through some of the admin functions on the Security Shepherd project. Um, so let's kick off here by clicking the admin button. And within here, you've got configuration, module management, user management. So I'm going to go through the user management aspect of this. So if you click here, you can see a whole lot of different uh, links here that you can click into, which all do different kinds of actions. So the first thing you may want to do if you are setting this up in a kind of uh, an environment where you're going to have people competing, like in a, <coughs> sorry, in a CTF or, or, or a tournament mode, you might want to create a class. And then, so for instance, if you were to deliver this to a group of students, um, and you would allow them to practice or train on this tool, you would create a class. So you simply just go in, you give it a class name, test class, and then you would create a new class. And you just click this, and there you go. Class test class of 2015 created successfully. So normally what users would do is they would log in from the login page and then what you would do is you would assign players to the class so if a user has created an account successfully he is now in this section here so as you can see we don't have any players um, assigned so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out and then I will log back in as admin so I'm going to log out here I'm going to register an account so username Pub, password, sign me up. So now I've created a user called Jim Bob. Now let's just log Jim Bob in. So there we go. Jim Bob is logged in and he clicks get next challenge. He's going to get the very first challenge and he can complete this or not. But he isn't part of a class at the moment. So what we want to do is we want to log him out. Now let's log in as an admin. And there we go. So now we're going to admin, user management, and we want to assign players to class. There you go. There's Jim Bob. And you want to assign him to this class. Actually, if we just assign players. Assign to this class and assign. There you go. Jim Bob assigned successfully to test class 2015. You can also add players manually yourself without them signing up. So you can close off the registration and then they can register, but then you can assign them in here. So you pick your class. The username is Jim Bob's brother. And you create a new player. So he's now in there. And so if you log out, so in here is Jim Bob's brother. Submit. And then you are requested to change the password. So I 
there we go. Jim Bob's burger is now also in the application. And he can get the first go. So let's go back in as admin and check some more functions. So, go into user management. <coughs> so you can now add also and deduct player points. So, for instance, you may want to do some questions on the side or something else outside or some player is persistently trying to do some, some attack that's not within the scope or the confines of the application. So you may want to deduct players some points. So players that are in the class, there's Jim Bob. And so Jim Bob for a point of 100. So you take players points, given a thousand points. There we go. You can also suspend players. Reset the password. You can create a new admin. So suspend. Let's suspend one of these guys. Jim Bob. And you can suspend him for 10 minutes. So within the confines of the game, for instance, if Jim Bob is steaming ahead of the other players and you want to slow them down so to make the game a little bit fair you want to let people catch up or you know or, yeah basically let them catch up then this would be the way to do it or you can lock down the level so if he gets to a certain level you can then block it as we went on before in the previous video of the um, module management you can you can shut down levels you can put blocks on levels so you can stop them from getting to a certain point so Jim Bob is being suspended. Let's go on do that. Let's let him back in. So he's allowed back in. So let's create a new admin. Admin one. And then let's create a new admin. Here we go. So let's log out. There we go. Now required to change. So there we go. Now we've got a new admin with inside the game. So there's some of the uh, functions. Also, actually, you can upgrade a player to admin. So. You pick Jim Bob, you can upgrade him. Jim Bob is now an admin. So he has a different screen when he goes in. So let's log out. Let's log back in as Jim Bob. Let's see what Jim Bob sees. Well. There we go. Jim Bob is now an admin, and there he has all the functionality that a normal admin would have. He can create levels, or, sorry, create players, classes, uh, open and close modules. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this to a normal player in a game. Um, so yeah, that's that's the end of this video for some admin functions related to user management. Thank you.